Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're on the river again. Um, it's had quite a bit of water go through it recently and it looks amazing. Um, we're going to try it for a barbel again, but hey, <laughs> you know, they're pretty elusive. We're going to try and do what we did last time. Um, see what, what else we pick up on the way. Um, yeah, again, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Let's crack on. Okay, we're going to start off because this one's got some perch, chub and everything in it. A nice big bunch of worms. A tiny little weight. We'll just bounce it around for half an hour and then we're going to go down, try and find some streamer weed. Probably this is really snaggy in here. Hey okay, guys, we're in. Oh my days! Nice, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, it's a barbell! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's my smallest barbell in the world, but we've just caught our barbell. I thought it was a nice one first, right? Oh my days! Oh, look at that! That's got all good views, isn't it? Isn't it just, yeah. Well, there you go, everybody. It might be the smallest barbell in the world. It's got you off the mark, isn't it? But it has got me off the mark. We've got a barbel. Nice to meet you, little mate. There he goes. Even that size, they give everything, don't they? Well, I didn't expect that. No. This back in the 80s, it used to be quite a few days in the didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some cracking days. Kind of... There he goes. Oh my word! Okay, we tucked up in another little swim. We didn't try this one before. We'll give this half an hour. See ya. Let's see how we do. Go for it a bite then for a minute. Pretty little swim, some more stuff on the back there. Just plopped underneath that bush over there. Fingers crossed. Anything else now is a bonus. We've caught our little barbel. They can only get bigger. Well, we haven't had a touch in this swim yet. Apart from a couple of little pets, which were probably just little, don't know, little, little things. Just having a bit of a peck at the meat. Um, I think it's a little bit too hot, really. I think we stand more chance of getting a barbell later on in the afternoon, later on in the early evening. But um, we'll keep trying and we'll move on in a minute. Oh, I just had a little knock, just as I was going to speak to the camera. And anyway, people, we're back in the swim where we had the carp last time, but we're still planning on moving down. It's just, I think it's a bit early for the bar box, so we're going to have a go at some carp. I've got some worms with me as well. And we saw quite a few bust ups over there last time. So I think we'll have a perch or jack, so I'm going to give, a go, give it a go on a few worms as well. Okay. I've been seeing a few bust ups over there, small fish, so I'm going to try a big bunch of worms. See if there's a perch. See what happens there. Oh, I've just seen a pair of kingfishers. All of them are really close. They're the most beautiful birds. Just little flashes of blue. Stunning creatures. <clears throat> well, we've had one decent bite on the worms, which I missed, like a big numpty. Um, it's very quiet in this room today. So I think we're going to do that last time. I'm going to put some bait out and uh, come back and fish it later on. And uh, go and see if I can find a few chub. I've discovered another little swim. 
it's completely overgrown so we've cut it back and it looks promising we've got some oh look at that fish jumping over there we've got some nice cover underneath here we've got loads of sticks and stuff to go over there just hope we catch a whopper it doesn't go in there I think we'll give this one half an hour or so, see how we do. So we've moved downstream a bit, we've got quiver tip, and this is what we saw a guy doing last time. We've just got one swan shot and a bit of bread, and we're gonna send it around this eddy. chuck from the swim. Awesome sauce. Probably only about a pound and a half, two pounds. Cracking stuff.
another beautiful golden Getting back. days. Pound and a half maybe. Look at that. What a beautiful fish. for the beautiful pair of kingfishers that are about to whiz past the blue flashes right about now. Nine pound three.
Okay, we've been resting her for 10 minutes. She looks good to go. Okay, baby. There she goes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Would you believe that? Look at the size of that gudgeon. A bunch of worms. <laughs> Nearly bigger than it. <laughs> Look at that. See you later, buddy. Okay, well, after we caught the decent barbel, the swim kind of died. Just knock some little fish, just pecking. So we're going to leave that swim for a bit and we'll come back down to this end one on the big corner because I'm sure there's going to be barbel in here somewhere or chub or something. So we're going to give this maybe an hour, hour and a half and then start heading back up the river a little bit later on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, you never know, we might get another one. Okay, now it's 25 past four. I think we'll give it until about half five here. And then uh, either head up to, to swim with the big tree in it. Now we did have one really good knock and bumped a fish or go back to the one where we had the carp because we did put some bait in there earlier. See if we can't get another one out. Not sure what to do yet, but um, we'll see in a minute. I'm sure this for me is gonna have a barbell for me at some point. It must do. I've just had a little, quite a decent pull round, but bloody missed it because I was half asleep. Hey, how you doing? Well, we're back in the swim where we caught the carp last time. It's the end of the day. Let's see if we can weed off something out of here like we did last time. It's been a fantastic day. We've had oh, a couple of nice chub, um, awesome perch, two barbel, two, not just one, not just one, two barbel. Yeah, yes, get in. We did it. As always, thank you very much for watching. It's really appreciated. As always, tight lines, baggy trousers. We'll see you in the next one. If you see these two on the water, please challenge them for their license and their membership. These are the poaching scumbags that have been taking bags of fish home. Please eject them from the fishery. We don't want them. We don't need them. Many thanks. Cheers.